Police across the city continue in response to the ongoing conflict in Israel. Our live team coverage continues with CBS News' Elijah Westbrook, who is at the UN on the east side with the latest there. Elijah. That's right. Well, Chris and Mary, as you mentioned, hundreds of people are expected to gather once again today in response to what's taking place over in the Mideast. And after speaking with many folks uh, who were at these rallies this week, uh, some of them are saying that their hearts are filled with fear and anxiety for their family and friends who are overseas. Across the tri-state area, various groups gather day and night, wanting to make their voices heard that they stand with the innocent victims amid the conflict in Israel. A woman being raped, kids being chopped, the heads chopped off. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Here on Manhattan's east side Tuesday evening, hundreds came together for a pro-Israel rally just feet from the United Nations. Their message, New York stands with Israel. New Yorkers will never tolerate evil whether it's committed here in our homeland or in Israel. We will never, ever tolerate evil. 14-year-old Amuna Kaplan moved to Manhattan from Israel just two weeks ago. My friends told me they feel booms. They feel it in the ground. They feel it shaking, and it's scary. And every person I've talked to from Israel, all my friends, they're, as they're on the phone with me, they're crying. They can't believe what's going on. Over in Newark, New Jersey, calls for a ceasefire at this demonstration outside of Senator Cory Booker's office, also taking place Tuesday evening. It was organized by the New Jersey chapter of the group American Muslims for Palestine. There must be a call for an immediate ceasefire a recognition of the reality of the Palestinian people and the oppression that they've faced for decades, and a condemnation of increased violence via blockade and other means by the Israeli government against the Palestinian people. The group there also calling for no additional aid to Israel, adding that sending aid contributes to the oppression of the Palestinians. And back out here live, uh, rallies are expected to continue once again today for a now fourth time in a row. That's the latest here from the United Nations on the east side. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you. 606.